you go. Ah. Hello again, it's just me. Right. Welcome. If I haven't said hello to you and you've just joined, okay. Hello again. It's uh, what's this? Wednesday the twenty second. Good day. I know. Zoom week fourteen. So thank you very much, everybody, for your donations. Much appreciated. As usual, I'll just read the disclaimer. So it's up to you to assess whether you're ready for the class. Okay. If you have any specific injuries, diseases, illnesses, etc., just basically consult the GP first. And uh, the practice of true yoga requires you to gauge the safety of your practice and work within your personal limitations. Okay, and remember it's better to build up slowly rather than force yourself to do anything. So just bear that in mind. So therefore I assume no responsibility for any injuries suffered while practicing via online classes and videos. Okay. So so we're all ready. I'm just going to pop my socks off because they're a bit annoying. You get a wrinkle again. So if you have a little music at home that you want to do your warm-ups to, feel free to pop it on. I'm going for the rock look tonight, so it's not ACDC that I'm playing, not so don't worry about it. So Right, just stepping at the feet to about shoulder distance and just relax the back of the knees. Remember, I can't see you, so please just listen to your body. Nice soft joints. I says have a wee drink, sit down, relax at any point if that's what you need. So just shake into those hands and make a shake. Shake them into the upper arms. And into the shoulders, really shake it off. Any stresses, just let it go. You can bring it up. Bring it out to the side. Bring it back down. Really shake into those shoulders. Just release them. We're going to just circle, just shaking up. Take go. Now just keep the knees nice and soft. You don't want to lock them. Lock the knees. Any joint actually that stops your energy from flowing. And we'll go down the other way. Just let it go. Oh, lovely. And last time. Start to roll those shoulders back one at a time. Lifting the elbows just a bit. You can lift the arm up. Start to work into the hips, get them moving just a little bit more. Start to bring it down. And we're going to do a move that I do for the Qigong class. It's called spinal cord breathing. What we're going to do is bring a hand into Namaste at the heart. I'll just come closer so you can see. And we'll breathe in. As we breathe in, the arms go to the outside. Gently lick above you. Breathing out, your hands come to the heart, rounding, you're tucking the tailbone under. Really exhale, get rid of the steel there. So we're breathing in. Look up, breathing out. Breathe in. Breathing out. Breathe in. Use the full capacity of your lungs, open the chest, breathing out, squeeze out the cilia. Breathing in, breathe out, breathing in, breathe out. One more time. Just widen those feet out, just another wee notch. We're going to do a little spinal twist. Just allow your arms to drift round. Just let the arms just round. The 
it's like they're just it's like two bits of rope just dangling and they just swing around. And remember, you can always stay here, but I think most people like to take a little bit deeper. So you're always going to have to, you're just going to lift the heel, lift the heel, but you turn a bit from. And have a wee dip in the middle if you wish, or you can just simply turn from side to side. Remember, if something doesn't feel right, your knees are a bit kind of nippy, just ease off. There's no point in taking it too far and then injuring yourself. Everybody just let those arms drift out by the arms. Let that be twist, go a bit deeper. I'm going to bring the arms up a little bit higher to about chest height. And then we're going to bring it up even higher. Just get that full rotation one way and then the other. Start to break it down by the chest again. Down by the abdomen. And just let them drift round, just like they were at the beginning. Drifting. Bring the feet back to face forward, arms still drifting. And we're just going to slow it down. We're going to pop your hands on your hips, okay? Little micro movements so over to the right, tilt the pelvis forward, over to the left, tilt the pelvis back, to the right, forward, to the left, back, to the right. Forward, left, back, right, forward, left, back. One more. Forward, left, back. And we're going to reverse it. Over to the left. And forward, right, back. So just working. Just to the joint. Particularly that sacroiliac joint. Just get it to move a little bit. If you've been sitting all day. You might feel this. Let's get it to release. You can really stiffen up. So it's not doing a hula hoop. We're really focused on just moving side to side. We'll do one more because I forgot to count the shoes. Oh, dear. Oh. Step forward with one foot and just have a nice big stretch up and lift the back heel a little bit. Stretching up, oh lovely. And just step back. All right, just lift the front toes, allow the arms to sweep down and behind you. Put the foot down, stretch up, lift the back heel. Drop that heel, lift the front toes, scoop down, stretch back. One more. Stretch up. Drop the heel, float down. Lovely. Take your time. We're just going to come back in, step out with the other foot. So stretch up first and then lift that back heel. Drop the heel, lift the toe, let the arms sweep down, go all the way behind. Drop the front toes. Sweeping up, lift the back heel. Drop the heel, lift the toe. Sweep down. One more time. Stretch up. Drop the heel. Back down. Lovely. Oh, get the ball of shake out. 
Oh, hopefully everything's feeling good. So, we're going to do some stretches tonight with your bands, plus something a little bit different. Should have time for it, so it's a wee introduction to this type of yoga if you haven't done it before, but don't worry, you just do what you can. It's actually quite nice and gentle, okay. So we've done our activation, so we're just going to come into Tadasana, that mountain pose, feet about hip distance apart, just make that wee micro adjustment to make sure that you're comfortable. Just relax the back of the knees. Think about the tailbone sliding down, chest is open, arms by your side. Crown of the head is raised up, tailbone sliding down. Standing in a nice straight line. Everything's aligned, all the chakras are aligned. Just gently close your eyes. Just have an awareness of your breath. Remember, those thoughts might come into your mind, perfectly normal. Just bring your attention back again to your breathing. Breathing in, breathing out, which is fully really engage the core. We'll do the little air sequence just to warm us up a bit more before we get into our lovely exercises with the bands. Clasp those fingers below the navel. Breathe into the throat. Turn, breathe out, gently push down, a little bend to the knee. Breathe in above the head. Breathing out, just release. Again, breathe in, turn, breathe out, pushing down. Breathe in above the head, breathing out, release. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathe in. Breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, one more time, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out. Next move there's a little squat, if you don't want to squat, you can always repeat this First movement again, that's absolutely fine. Okay, so if you want to squat, hands are clasped, breathing into the throat, turn, breathing out, bending the knees, weight comes to the toes. Breathing in, pushing through, all the way back up, breathing out. Breathing into the throat, turn, breathe out, bending the knees, weight to the toes. Breathing in, breathing out, release. Breathe into the throat, turn, breathing out, push down. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathe in, breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out, one more. Breathe in, breathing out, 
Breathing in, breathing out. We're just going to take the feet just a bit wider. This is when we come into a little forward bend and then we bend the knees as we push, our, push ourselves back up. Hands are still clasped. We breathe into the throat, turn breathing out, pushing down, bending the knees, let the hands scoop out in front, all the way back up, and release. Breathing in, turn, breathe out, bending forward, bend the knees, push through, you're breathing in, breathing out. Breathe in, breathing out, breathing in, breathing out, breathe in, breathing out, breathing in, and release. So if you're facing forward, just bring one foot forward. I'll just turn to the side so you can see me. Okay. So bring your body, the torso, just facing towards that front leg. Hands clasped again. Breathe into the throat. Turn. Push down, bending the front knee. Breathe in. Breathe in, up above the head. Breathing out, release and straighten that front knee. Breathing into the throat. Turn, breathe out, push down. Breathing in above. Breathing out, release. Breathing in. Turn, breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathe in and release. If we bring the other foot facing forward, I'll just turn. Okay, exact same. Make your body to align with it. So breathe into the throat. Turn, breathe out, push down. Breathing in above. Breathing out, release. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathe in. Breathe out. In and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in. Out. Breathing in. Breathing out, and we'll do one more. Breathing in, breathing out, release. Bring yourself back to Tadasana, your mountain pose, and just see how you feel. Got the body moving just a little bit more. Might feel that wee tingle of energy start to come through to the fingers. So we do a few extra stretches. Okay, so it's three ones that we usually do. So just bring one foot forward, other leg is behind. Just bend that front knee. Just into that gastrocnemius muscle at the back, run down the calf, all the way down towards the ankle. We're going to work with the bands. We want to make sure everything's stretched first. Bring that front foot just in front of the other one. This time, as you bend both knees, it takes it a little bit deeper in that back leg. Breathe, keep breathing. Straighten up. We're going to extend that front heel away. Lift the toes, just rest on the other thigh. So this is can be quite a deep stretch. You'll feel that into that calf and probably into the bottom of the other side. So just 
see how far you can go, but don't let it be too painful. Okay. Breathe. Slowly straighten up. We're going to swap the leg in front, okay? So a fair distance between them. Bend the front knee, the other leg is straight. Breathe into it. If you like, you can visualize that muscle just opening up and just releasing tension. And slowly bring that front foot in front of the other one. So bend to both knees. Take it deeper into the calf and all the way down into the ankle of that other leg. Slowly straighten up, send the front leg away, heel down, toes up, rest your hands on the other thigh. Oh, it's a good stretch. If you don't feel this, you've obviously stretched beforehand. And take your time to come up. So we're going to come, bring the feet to about shoulder distance, okay? Just turn the right foot a little quarter turn, left foot at a slight angle. Remember we were doing the triangles, we did the mini one first. So just going to let your right hand just slide down inside of the right leg. Take the left arm up towards the sky. So it's a nice little, little tiny little triangle. But it's good for opening up that chest. So think about those little shoulder blades trying to come together at the back. So that means that you're not rounding, you're not tipping forward or back. Just trying to get things to move and stretch just a wee bit more. And just look forward, bend the knee, so that you're balancing off, back up to center. Turn that right foot in. Left foot takes a little quarter turn, right foot just at a little bit of an angle, left arm just let it slide down the inside of the leg, right arm extend upwards. Remember, think about those shoulder blades like they're trying to come together at the back. You can look up at the hand if you wish, or you can just look straight forward, tag up to you. And just bend the knee, balance off, back at the centre. Oh, well done. How's your arms feeling? So we're going to get your bands, okay? Get your trusty band. We'll do the arm stretches first. Okay. So I did this in the Monday class. <laughs> Still a wee bit tight from Monday. It's like, oh, yeah, so it works, okay. We're going to do the arm ones, so have a good, good distance between those hands, okay? And this is the one for opening the chest. So if you take it too narrow, you can't, you can't get back, because the aim of it is to get back, but open the chest, okay? So you're just going to link your hands round, so you just a fair grip on it, okay? We're going to breathe in, so turn sideways so you know exactly what position. We're going to engage your core, just protect the lower back. As we breathe in, just gently curling the arms backwards, opening up the chest, breathing out, allow the arms just to go above the head again. Breathing in, just gently backwards, breathing out, Bring it above the head. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathe in. Breathing out. Hopefully you're getting a little bit further each time. Breathing in. Breathing out. 
One more time, breathing in, breathing out. And this time, as we breathe in, just go to what's your maximum. Now, that doesn't mean it has to be an agony, but just to feel that stretch. Feel the stretch into the arms. Feel as if that chest is open. Shoulder blades are coming together. Breathe into it. Enjoy the stretch. If you're not enjoying it, feel free to come out of it. It's absolutely fine. Breathe in. Breathe out. Just release. Ah. You're going to keep hold of it with your right hand. Okay, let the other one go. You bring it behind you. So keep your right hand up towards the sky. Bring your left hand as close up as you can bring it. Okay. I'm flexible on one side, not so flexible on the other. So what you want to do is we create a wee pulley system. Okay, we're going to pull it down and pull it up. So if you take it too far down, you're not going to get much benefit. It has to be like a tight rope when you're when the pulley's in operation. So the right arm straight up, left arm as close to as between those shoulder blades as you can get them. This is going to open up the shoulder into the rotator cuff, okay, and open up under the arm. So we're going to pull downwards. Again, you might want to make a wee adjustment here now that you've moved. And then we're slowly pulling upwards. And again, you'll feel that into that rotator cuff. So pulling down. Slowly pulling upwards. Again, we're pulling down. Bringing it up, bring it down, bring it up. If I bring it down, I want you to just hold it here. Again, you might want to have a wee adjustment if you want that extra stretch, that's absolutely fine. Feel that underarm opening up. Yep. And then we'll do it in the opposite way. So we're going to extend upwards again. This depends how that shoulder is going to react, whether it's going to be comfortable. Allow it to just relax into it. Remember, any shoulder issues, just take it carefully. Don't feel that you have to force it. And just gently let go. Oh, bring the strap around, give those shoulders a wee circle. Ooh, we're going to swap over because they can't be lopsided. So just bring your band into the other side. Sit wrap round. Go straighten that arm up towards the ceiling. I'm probably going to get clumped in the head with a buckle, but never mind. Bring it up to the ceiling. Okay, bring another arm again. Just as close into the centre of the back as you can. Okay, so we'll bring it down first of all. Again, make that wee adjustment if necessary. And we'll slowly bring it up. Again, you might want to make that adjustment if you want that extra stretch. Bring it downward. And bring it up. And bring it down. And bring it up. Four. And up. This time as we bring it down, we're going to hold it. Feel that stretch in that underarm. Yes, it can be quite kind of, ooh. Yeah, didn't realise that that was tight. Mm -hmm. Remember to breathe. And I'll extend upwards. We're stretching into that rotator cuff on the other side. And just slowly release. 
Bring it round to the front again. Give those shoulders a little bit of a movement. Oh, need a little rub. Give them a rub. That's absolutely fine. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to hold on to your band. Okay, reset those feet nice and wide. Remember when we did the triangles? Okay, we've done the mini ones. So we're going to do the full triangle. It's a nice wide stance. Feet are two to three feet apart. Okay. Turn the right foot a little quarter turn. And just take a little angle on the left foot. Draw an invisible line from that right heel to the middle of that left foot. So make sure you're aligned, okay? So if you remember rightly when you do a triangle, your arms would come up, then you'd tip, and you would be going up like that. So what I thought we would do is we would use the band, because why not? This will really open your chest, okay? So I'm going to take the bands nice and wide, almost as wide as your feet actually, okay? Legs are nice and straight, we'll engage in the core, so we'll breathe in. Breathing out, core is engaged. We're going to breathe in. We breathe out, let the hands tilt towards that right hand side, okay? And let the top arm just drift down. See how it feels. An up and a down movement. Now you can bring the arms in front if you like. I thought it was quite nice. Just to enjoy that stretch. Ooh. Feel it in the legs as well. Hopefully it's helping those shoulder blades come together at the back. Bending that right knee. Slowly straighten out. Bring the foot to face forward. Ooh, bring the arms down for a moment. Roll those shoulders. Hope everybody's coping and you haven't went for a lie down. Okay. We're going to go over to the left. So take the left a little quarter turn. Angle that right foot just a little notch. Draw that invisible line from the heel to the center of that right foot. Bring those arms up. Breathe in, breathing out, engaging your core. Breathe in, we breathe out, just tip forward, almost like you're trying to come down, but you're not going to quite get there because your band's going to stop you, but you're getting a good stretch to the leg, to the chest, feel it in the underarms as well. Remember to not tip forward or back. Breathing, breathing, bend the knee, bring it back up nice and controlled, turn the foot forward, oh, bring those arms down, oh yeah. Bring a knee mat down, Just bring one arm across, so now we keep away from that elbow, bring it into the upper arm, stretching it across. And then we'll go to the other, arm, other side, just bring it across, just pull it in. Just shake it out. So we're going to come down onto the floor, okay, and use the straps on the floor. Feel free to have a little drink, okay? Because the plan is, once you're on the floor, we're not going to get back up, so... Okay, so then the, the use of stretches before, and it's for the, the hamstring. Okay, so we're going to lie down, nice and straight line. And again, you can have the other foot on the, the floor, or you can have it straight out. It is quite a stretch for the lower back, so if you have any lower back issues, bring that other foot up. So we're going to drape the strap behind the ankle first. Just pick a side, it doesn't matter, any side, because we're going to do the other one anyway. Okay, and just hold on to it. You hold on with one hand or two hands, tie up to you. Personally, I like two. So breathe in, breathing out, you engage your core, feel the lower back with contact with the floor. Breathing in, just gently pull on the strap. 
bring that leg towards the board. Breathing out, just gently release. Breathing in, right towards you. Breathing out, gently release. And hopefully you'll get a little bit further each time. Breathing in. Breathing out. Just make sure that other knee isn't falling to the outside. Breathing in. I'm not naming anybody in particular by the way. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. And this time as you breathe in, we're going to hold it. Just hold it whenever you feel that stretch. It really doesn't matter whether you think, oh, I've not got my leg very far. As long as you're feeling a stretch, and it's not absolute agony. So when you feel a stretch into the calf, into the back of the knee, and all the way up into the hamstring and the quadriceps. Breathe into it. Breathe in. Breathing out, slowly release. So we're going to move the strap this time to the arch of the foot. And for some people, this can be a bit stronger. For some people, they find the first one stronger. We're all different. So and just make sure the core is engaged. Breathe in. Breathing out, feel that lower back make contact again. Breathing in, just gently pull on the strap, nice straight leg. Breathing out, slowly release. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathe in. And out. One more time. Breathing in. And just hold it whenever you feel that stretch. Breathe into it. Breathing in, breathing out, just gently release it nice and slowly. I like to keep the strap over the sole of the foot, bring it down onto the floor. Hopefully, I've got a scarf or something that's long enough. Okay, so it's on the just straighten that other leg. So I to grab hold of whatever leg that straps on. I to hold on the same side of the hand. Okay. Now we're going to do it's a movement that's similar to the Maltese cross, but we don't actually have to take it that far at all. But we're going to just alter it slightly. Okay. So breathing in, breathing out, engage the core. As we breathe in, whatever side the strap's on, you're going to take that leg to the outside. Remember to keep the shoulder blades on the floor. This is a nice big stretch into that inner thigh. Don't worry about how far you get. You might just get to the inner thigh. That's deep enough. That's absolutely fine. Just feel that stretch. The shoulder blades come off the floor, you've gone too far. Breathe in, breathe out. Slowly allow that, that leg to just float back down. Swap hands, hold on to it with the other side. So guess what's coming? Hopefully you can see. I've got the, the strap over my right foot and I'm holding on my left hand now. We're going to lift that leg up a wee bit again. 
This time I'm going to let it cross over the other way. Again, we take that arm out. So my right arm's coming out to the side. Legs go all the way across. So it's a Maltese cross. If the shoulders come off the floor, you've gone too far. Breathe into it. Hopefully you're all managing it fine. And breathing out, let it float back down. We're going to do one more to this side. Make sure we've got plenty of time. Let it float all the way up to the other side. We've swapped hands. Breathe in. Breathe in, so we breathe out, let the leg float down. Swap hands again, you're going to cross that leg over the other one. Bring an arm out, shoulder height, into that Maltese cross, keep those shoulder blades on the floor. Breathe in, breathing out, let it float, float down. Let it rest next to the other one. You can release the strap, let go. Oh. Bring the feet up onto the mat one at a time. Hopefully you've released that strap from your feet. Okay, so remember we're going to have to do all these lovely stretches to the other side. We're going to drape it behind that ankle of the opposite side. Good. Nice and comfortable. Again, say if you want to hold on with one hand or two, keep the foot of the other leg on the floor, knees facing upwards. Breathing in, breathing out, engaging the core. Feel the contact with the lower back and the mat. Breathing in, just gently pull the leg towards you. Just till you feel that stretch. Breathing out, gently release. Breathing in, again pull towards you. Breathing out, release. Breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Get a little bit further each time. Breathing out. This time, breathing in. Hold it however is comfortable for you so you can feel that stretch. Breathe in, breathing out, gently release. So we're going to move that strap like we did before. We're going to put it over the arch of the foot. We'll re-engage our core first before we do anything. So we'll breathe in, breathing out, engage that core. As we breathe in, just gently pull on the strap, just so you feel that stretch. Breathing out, gently release. Breathing in, again, pull on the strap. Breathing out, release. Breathing in. Breathing out. 
breathing in this time to whatever is your maximum to feel that stretch. You can always be aware that our knee isn't flopping outwards. Breathing in, and as we breathe out, gently lower that leg down, still holding on to the strap, lowering it down, straighten out that other leg. Okay. So, I want you to take hold of the straps on the same side that the, the leg as a strap on. So it's on your left, take hold of the straps in your left hand. Bring your left, right shoulder. Just allow that arm to relax outward. And you're going to take that leg out to the left hand side, if that's the side that you're holding on. Feel that stretch to the other thigh. Slowly allow the leg to float down. We're going to swap hands. Let that other arm drift out at shoulder height as your Maltese cross. Again, allow the leg to cross over the other leg. Quite a deep stretch, so don't worry if you don't get far. Shoulder blades are still on the floor. If they come up, you've gone too far. Breathe into it. Breathing in, breathing out, let it float down. We'll do one more to each side. Swap hands again. Arm goes out, take it to the outside. Go to whatever's comfortable for you. Keep breathing. Breathe in, let the leg float down. Swap hands once again. The other arm goes out to shoulder height. Crossing over. Join that Maltese cross. Breathing in, breathing out, just let it float down. And release the strap. Ah. And bring the feet up one at a time. Lovely. So take your time. Bring the feet up close to the buttocks and roll onto your right hand side and then push yourself up. Okay. If you need a little drink, feel free to grab one. So what I thought we would do is something a little bit different. A little bit of yin yoga. If you haven't done yin before, it's, it's holding for a period of time. Okay, so don't worry about the time aspect. Practically every move in yin is sitting or lying down, apart from one. So, and we're already sitting, so we're halfway there. Okay, it's all about finding that nice, comfortable position where you can hold it 
and not move and just concentrating your breath and allowing the body to relax into a posture. So I was thinking about a couple of moves and one of them was a butterfly which I'm sitting in. The butterfly is really just bringing the soles of the feet together. Okay, so it doesn't matter whether you've got them up here, here, here. It really doesn't matter. You go to whatever's comfortable for you and whatever posture you can hold for a period of time. Butterfly, you've got to make sure that you're sitting on the sit bones. So you lift, lift the fleshy parts, all of it, out of the road to make sure those sit bones are nice and comfortable on the mat. Now my feet are just, if I sit here, they're off the mat and it's a bit uncomfortable. You can put a wee blanket underneath to cushion you. I thought we would do maybe just a couple of minutes with butterfly and a couple of minutes in another posture. Okay. And what I'd like to do is make sure that you can get comfortable first. Okay, for example, here, and then you just fold yourself forward. So your palms facing upward. Rest your head to the weight of the top part of your body. It's going to allow you to take that into that nice, slightly deeper posture. Now, I've always found it beneficial to close your eyes and just concentrate on your breath. Don't worry about how close to the floor you are, it doesn't matter. So get into your butterfly, make any wee final adjustments, allow the palms to rest on the floor, facing upwards, allow the head just to be heavy, I'm going to round the back, whole of the top part of your body is heavy, and close your eyes. Just close your eyes and just concentrate on your breath. Nice and gently, open your eyes, allow your head just to look forward. And if you need help, just move your leg with your hand, it's absolutely fine. Okay, hopefully you felt a little bit more of a stretch into that inner thigh. Okay, so we'll do one more, well, it's slightly longer holes. Remember, if you don't think it's for you, it's absolutely fine. You're under no obligations to sit there going, oh, not enjoying this. So really, just do what is comfortable for you. We're going to do a nice wide leg forward bend, okay? Go to whatever's comfortable. Again, a little bit extra cushioning under the heels is fine. I'm just going to scoot off the floor, that's fine for me. Lift the fleshy parts again. So we're stretching upwards first. 
and then just allow the body to don't worry if you're not anywhere near the floor. I can pretty much guarantee you if you close your eyes, just relax into it when you open your eyes at the end of the hold. You'll be so much closer to that floor that you'll be thinking, how on earth did I manage that? Okay, so just go to whatever's comfortable. Relax into it. Just think of the top of the body is heavy again. Arms are facing upwards. Close your eyes. And just think about your breath. Every exhalation, I want you to think about the body just stretching that wee bit more. Relax into it. Use the breath to relax the muscles. Visualize your body letting go. Visualize legs letting go. Visualize the abdomen and the upper body being so heavy. You just let go and they float down towards the floor. Concentrate on your breathing. Visualize your body letting go. Gently allow your eyes to open and just have that little look. How much closer you are to that mat than when you were when you were starting. That was about three minutes we held that. And hopefully you've had a nice big stretch into the leg. Hopefully you've relaxed. It's a lovely method to practice yin yoga. Just nice and gently take your time to uncurl. Bring the head up last. Roll the shoulders back. You have any assistance with your hands to bring the feet back in. Here we go. Give the legs a little rub. I think you've done really well tonight, so I think it's time to get ready for your relaxation. So, get all cosy. Make sure you've got your blankets, etc. And I'll 
take you through your relaxation for tonight because you've worked really hard. So remember, it's your relaxation. Just lying in Shavasana. Legs are outstretched in front of you. You're in a nice straight line. Remember, if you have any lower back issues, you can keep those feet on the mat. Absolutely fine. It's your relaxation. You've got to be comfortable. Allow the arms to drift out from sides of the body. A space between the underarms. Just allow the lymphatics to drain. Just take a little moment. Make sure you're comfortable. Allow the toes to roll outward. And just take a breath in and just sigh the breath away to make sure you've left any last remaining stress, just let it release away from the body. So now going to relax your physical body. And we inhale as we squeeze and we'll exhale as we release each part. As we breathe in, I want you to push those heels away. Push, push. Exhale and release. Breathe in, I want you to point the toes away. Point. Exhale, release. Breathing in, I want you to squeeze the calf muscles. Squeeze, squeeze. Exhale and release. Breathing in, I want you to gently just push the back of the knees towards the floor. Exhale, release. Breathing in, I want you to tighten up the thighs. Squeeze, squeeze. Exhale, release. Breathing in, I want you to tighten up the lower abs and the buttocks, squeezing. Exhale, release. We breathe in this time, I want you to tighten up the abs, the buttocks, the whole of the legs, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Exhale, release and just feel the legs just getting heavier and softer and relaxed. As you breathe in now, I want you to gently push that lower back to the floor. And exhale and release. Breathing in, just gently push the mid back area to the floor. And exhale, release. Breathing in, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Squeeze. Exhale and release. Breathing in, bring those shoulders up towards your ears. And exhale, release. You breathe in, make a fist with both hands. Squeeze. Breathing out, release. Breathe in. Again, make those fists with your hands. And just raise the arms off the floor just an inch. Squeeze. And release and just let go. 
Breathing in, bring that chin towards your chest. Breathing out, release and let go. I want you to take a swallow to relax your throat. I want you to take a nice big wide yawn, stretching all the facial muscles. I want you to now scrunch up those facial muscles. Nobody can see you. Scrunch, scrunch. And let it go. And then bring those eyebrows up towards the hairline, almost like you're surprised. And let it go. And lastly, I want you to be aware that the tongue is now resting behind the bottom teeth. We're now going to rescan your body for tension. And I want you to be aware of any sensations that you may feel and visualise every cell and every muscle relaxing. As before, you're just going to follow your breath. And every time you exhale, each area will relax further. I want you to breathe in to the toes, the feet and the ankles. As you breathe out, be aware of this area and feel it release. Breathe in to the calves, the knees and the thighs. Visualise the muscles in this area. As you breathe out, see them relaxing further. Breathe in to the buttocks and the pelvic area. Breathe out, see it relax and let go. Breathing in to the lower back. Breathe out, visualise it, releasing and relaxing onto the floor. Breathe into the whole of the back, from the tailbone all the way up to the back of the head. See the vertebra. See it relaxing. See space being created between the vertebra. Breathe out, just see it relaxing and melting onto the floor. Breathe into your arms. The upper arm, elbow, lower arm, the palms, the back of the hands and all the fingers. See them all relax and let go. Breathing into the shoulders. See the shoulders, see all the muscles in the shoulder area. Breathe out, see the muscles relax and see the shoulders moving away from the ears. Breathe into the neck, the face and the head. See every muscle in this area. See any tension that's there and as you breathe out, see that tension melting away. You've relaxed your whole body. Every single cell, muscle and tendon is now relaxed and it has let go. I want you to now completely rest and relax the body.
Right, to now bring your attention to the crown of the head and visualize that bright ball of sunlight. And as you breathe in, visualize this bright light, gently awakening and reinvigorating each area of your body. Breathe in and let the light enter the crown. You see it traveling to the eyes, the ears, the whole of the face and into the jaw. Breathing in, see moving down into the throat, to the chest and across to the shoulders and traveling down the arms. Breathing in once again, see the light at the crown and bring it all the way down into the chest and the abdomen. It's gently awakening the organs and perhaps you want to take a deeper breath now. Breathing in again, see that light at the crown of the head. See it travel down the back of the head traveling down the spine all the way from the back of the head right down to the tailbone just gently reawakening the whole of the spine as you breathe in again see that light to the crown and bring it all the way down the front of the body into the pelvic area, around to the buttocks. And then finally allowing that light to travel down the legs, through the thighs, the knees, calves of the shin, into the ankles, into the sole of the feet, the top of the feet and all the toes. I want you to feel that bright yellow sunlight that's travelled into every cell of your body. Your body is now gently awakened and reinvigorated with energy. Just very gently, I want you to be aware of your body's contact with the floor. I want you to wiggle those fingers and toes and gently start to move the hands and the feet. With your head still set, still heavy, just gently rock it from side to side. And perhaps you want a yawn or a stretch, just see what your body's asking you that it wants at this moment. And nice and carefully, just bring one foot at a time up onto the mat. Just be careful of that lower back. And just bring those knees to the chest. Just bring them in. Perhaps you want to rock gently from side to side, or maybe you want to have a nice circle just to ease off the lower back. Just listen to your body. Stay in a nice tight ball. Gently roll onto that right hand side. And when you're ready, push that left hand down in front of your face just to help you sit up. Welcome back, everybody. We'll come back. We had a nice sleep, relaxation, whatever it may be. 